Hi everybody, this is Sam with Python Basics, and we're going to look back at NumPy. And this is one of the <clears throat> very powerful things. Uh, well, here, let's just look at it. So let's import NumPy. We know how to do that. And we're going to alias it. So, all right. If you're new here, thanks for joining us. Uh, this is one of the things we do. We just do uh, bite-sized videos, little snippets, uh, one one method, one function, one subject at a time. So if you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. We have videos coming out all the time. So all right, we're going to look at random.uniform. Help. Random.numpy. Random.uniform. There we go. All right. So... All right, so it it is already it's it's got a couple defaults. So the low is zero point zero, and the high is one point zero. So all right, draws samples in a uniform distribution. So it equally, in other words, over the open half open interval, it evenly distributes the floats. All right, so let's say you're working with a sample set and you just need <clears throat> so we go do 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 uh, x equals uh, numpy dot let me make sure you can see that All right, random dot uniform and we go let's go zero one and we want ten of them so we call X. So here we go. We have an array that kicks out and it's evenly distributed across half the open. So now let's say we want uh, we want them to be negative. And P oops X and P random dot uniform. Oops, here we go. Negative one, zero, and ten. And if you glance to the documentation, inclusive, exclusive. Okay. So, all right. Uh, let's see where it was. You can read it, but it is. It's just like every other, every other thing. Inclusive, exclusive. Uh, I read it uh, not too long ago to refresh my memory. So, real quick video today. Um, we'll start doing more powerful things with NumPy. We're going to do a pretty cool graph next time, and uh, kind of pull from pull from everything that we know, Matplotlib, uh, and um, add add a add a line to it. I, we haven't done anything with Matplotlib in a while, so let's uh, mess around with that. But as always, guys, um, I can't say thank you enough. Uh, past 500 a little bit ago uh, awesome video requests so just as always uh, if you have any comments questions or my all-time favorite any video requ requests drop them down in the comments and I'll get right to it there is one that I have not forgotten about uh, I just need to get it around because it's something that I have not done before so like I said uh, you guys are keeping me on my toes so as always thanks for watching Stay tuned, and we'll see you next time. Bye, guys.